So I just Googled is EDS fake because I wanted to see if there were threads that would come up on Reddit and, you know, TikTok and stuff. And sure enough, things came up and I've heard this before, but I didn't really want to look at it because I thought maybe it would be a bit traumatic for me to revisit all of that. But um, it, it really does exist and people are really starting to say this about EDS. And this is extremely unhelpful. And what I think is happening is that people are phobic because EDS is such a doozy of a disease and it is also quite weird and unusual, you know, diverges from the norm compared to, I guess, illnesses people usually see in many ways. I th I think, um, I just think people are phobic and also people with EDS often do have psychiatric issues and might also be on the autism spectrum quite frequently. So they might come off as weird and be misunderstood the way that they present and talk about having EDS. So I think there's all of that going on. And it's just disturbing to me that it's like this anti-EDS bigotry, which is completely counterproductive to the awareness effort and to the, you know, actually getting care for people and doing research effort. And I don't know if there really are people trying to fake this, but it's pretty damn hard to fake EDS. Like, how can you fake the traits of EDS? I was diagnosed with all the traits of EDS. Like, I have the skin, right? I have the stretchy, soft skin. Um, I have, well... I, ha I had used to have blue sclera, but I don't know if I do anymore. I have the crowded, the crowded teeth and narrow palate kind of thing. You know, like my, you know, like my teeth are crowded. They're big for my, you know, mouth and any, I don't know, but they, they're EDS like they're kind of crooked. They were more crooked before I had work done. Um, well, obviously, I have hypermobile joints, like my fingers come out if I pull them, they come out and go back in like, sort of like a, you know, doll with a joint, you know, I don't know how to explain that. Um, I have uh, the uh, those, I don't know how to pronounce them, but they're like these bumps on your feet. Um, piezo, piezogenic papules or something like that. I have those, I have, um, you know, just, I have the circulatory issues, like the veins that, the blood that pools, I have, whatever, I'm, now I'm defending my, I have the traits, but I don't know how you can fake these things. I, I just read something from, um, I just read something where, where it was a description of all the traits of EDS, and I'm thinking, how, how can you fake that? How can people go online and, and fake, um, you know, hypermobility and stretchy skin and stuff. How can you just like, yeah, you can't like, I don't, I don't understand how people are saying this or why people are saying this. Like, I think it's just kind of a really disheartening, um, counterproductive trend, uh, problem. I think that Ehlers Danlos is becoming more prevalent. I think more people are hearing about it. I think more, I, I don't think it's as rare as, you know, it, as they ha originally said it was. And we know that we, in the EDS community, talk about how it's not as rare as, you know, it's not, it's just not very rare. Like it's underdiagnosed. So people are thinking, oh, I have EDS and stuff. Well, Okay, so do you have the traits? Do you have the traits or not? If you have the traits, you have the hypermobile joints and the stretchy skin and the, you know, even the facial features, like there's a facial features to a lot of EDS, like elfin, like, you know, kind of distinct. And I, I have those facial features and, you know, I can kind of have a bit of a radar to tell who looks EDS a lot of the time. So, you know, there are certain friends of mine in the community that have EDS and I'm just like, wow, you look like such an EDS or, you know, it's like this, uh, you know, almost anime, like animation, elfin kind of features to a person. 
and like you can kind of see their veins you know prominently and the skin looks soft and my skin embarrassingly like bunches up because it's elastic you know and yeah I mean how can you fake that please enlighten me please en it, it sounds to me like bigotry and phobia and like a xen form of xenophobia basically and yeah when people do this when people like assume that people are just faking I mean, there are real fakers out there for sure, but I think the majority of people who share about being ill are not faking. I think there might be a few of them who are, and they're kind of ruining it for everyone else. And people, we, you know, we need understanding and we need to fight ableism, not perpetuate it. So this is unfortunate to see people doing this, but um, people who do this are afraid of illness. You know, they're phobic of it. They, it's some, it's coming from a projection, a problem within them, you know, so, um, they, they have insecurity about it. So they have to go and attack it. And, you know, most likely people like that don't have a whole lot of empathy, um, or are immature and, or both basically. So it's, uh, it's just, uh, I'm not going to be too, try, I'm going to try not to be too distressed by it. It is a little bit distressing, but I just have to remember where it comes from. So, yeah. The the new EDS, um, anti-EDS bigotry train here that I didn't know about and that I now know about. <laughs>